Ah, and there you are. Don't fear, little one. You're safe here. In fact, you're safer than you've ever been. Huh, you look disoriented. That's quite all right. It's perfectly normal for a being of your... <clears throat> of your level to be slow to adapt. There's no rush. You can take all the time you need. But perhaps you would be more comfortable sitting somewhere soft rather than lying on the cold, hard floor. Here, take my hand. Hmm? Well, yes, I am glowing. I can explain that to you in a moment, but first I want to make sure you're comfortable. Shh. It's for the best. Come here. Sit right next to me. Don't be shy. You can lean against me, too. There. Isn't that better? The fabric of this couch is much more luxurious than what you're used to, isn't it? I think you'll find that true of everything else here. Oh. I think you'll find that true of everything else here in my home as well. So, you must have some questions. I cannot promise to answer all of them today, but I can promise you that you'll know everything you need to know. What would you like to know first? <laughs> I expected that one. Well, I don't think it would be quite accurate to call me an alien. Now, some of the beings you'll see soon, you might say that they are, although most of them don't come from your dimension. Hmm? What's the difference between me and them? Well, I'm... You could say that I'm on a different level, a higher level. Hmm. Maybe I should start at the beginning. I am a member of a race known as the Lux. At least, that's the best way to pronounce it with a mortal tongue. We're quite different from mortals like you. Our power is beyond your ability to comprehend. Our wisdom deeper than you will ever know. I can tell you don't believe me. I can't say I'm surprised, of course. The form I wear makes me look like one of your own, but it's only a guise. The glowing is just one hint of my true nature. Look more closely and you'll see the perfect symmetry of my face, the grace of my movements. Still not proof enough for you? Well, I suppose that might be a bit subtle for a being like you. Let me show you something a bit more obvious. <laughs> oh, what's this? You're floating! Why, it appears as though gravity suddenly has no hold over you. Almost as though somebody rewrote the very laws of reality on a mere whim. Do you believe me now, or shall I make you go higher? No? Good. I'm glad you're starting to accept reality. Don't worry. I'll return you to your seat as gently as possible. Now, no more interruptions. As you can imagine, we Lux can accomplish great things on our own, and for most of our history, we did, leaving the lesser beings of the multiverse to their own devices. But there were a few among us who posed a question. Is it right that we allow those below us to suffer in their ignorance and weakness while we prosper? Should we really keep our gifts all to ourselves? Their wise words resonated in us all, and soon all agreed. It was only right that we use our power to benefit all living things. And that brings me to you. The Lux have enriched the lives of countless species, and humanity is next in line. You are the first human to be selected, but fear not. Soon all of your kin will follow. Ah, 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 I said no interruptions. I was just getting to that. Essentially, we are going to take each and every one of you into our care. And more specifically, I'm taking you into my care. You can think of it kind of like a responsible adult adopting a poor orphan. Or perhaps a better metaphor would be an owner and their pet. Yes, that sounds better. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good to you? You poor thing. You must be frightened. Don't worry. I'm a kind, compassionate owner. All the Lux are, for that matter. We're not like you mortals, lashing out at each other in fear and confusion. Your life is going to be so much better from now on. Well, yes, I'm sure you had your own plans for your life. But really, doesn't it sound better to have everything decided by someone who's just... Well, better? I can make sure everything is perfect for you. Ah, uh, well, that's true. I suppose calling myself better probably wasn't very sensitive. But on the other hand, it's also true. 
Think of it this way. You're not worth any less than you were before. The fact that I'm better doesn't make you worse, but it does mean that I can make better decisions. Really, this whole situation benefits you more than me. I'm just doing this because I want you to be happy. <sighs> well, it seems like you're going to make this difficult. My patience is great, but I suggest that you don't prod the limits of what I'll allow. I'll always do what's best for you, even if that means discipline. Regardless, your outbursts tell me that you've regained some of your strength. Follow me, little one, and we'll prepare you for your new life. What? Hey! Get back here. You can't run from me. <sighs> that was very foolish, little one. Minutes ago, I showed you my power. Did you really not expect that I'd be able to stop you from moving? Escaping from me is not an option. It's not just unlikely, it's impossible. <sighs> oh dear, look at those eyes. Such panic, such frustration. You're nowhere close to accepting your new life, are you? That just won't do. Well, I have an idea you might like. A game. Something that will help us bond and hopefully quash those thoughts of escape at the same time. Here are the rules. The front door is on the other side of my home. If you can touch it, then I'll allow you to leave and I won't follow. But if I catch you, then you stay here with me and no more trying to get away. Naturally, I won't be allowed to use my powers on you directly. How does that sound? In that case, ready, set, go. Uh-uh, not that way. <laughs> I wouldn't go that way either. Unless you want to get cornered, that is. I can hear you. I can see you. I'm getting closer and closer. And I've got you. <laughs> oh dear one, you are so close. The door is just over there. Darn, you almost had it. <laughs> that was really fun, though, wasn't it? Perhaps you want to play again. Ah, uh, you do? Wonderful. But first, I think I should show you something. Here, come with me to the door. I'll show you what's outside. Look, isn't my garden lovely? I like to spend a lot of time out here. But what I actually want to show you is just over the railing there. Take a look. That's right, little one. This house is floating in midair. Can you see far down the ground is? Oh my, such harsh words. But not inaccurate, I suppose. You're right. There was never anywhere to go. Winning the game wouldn't have changed anything. You would have had to come back inside anyways, and truth be told, you can never win against me unless I allowed it. See, I can teleport anywhere I want instantly. From here to here to here. Just like that. I can even be in two places at once. See? See? And what would you have done even if you had been able to leave? You're not just far away from home. You're not just on another planet. You're in a completely different dimension. You can't just walk back. I did this to show you all the reasons that trying to run is pointless. So, still want to play again? <gasps> How dare you attack me? You can never hurt me, but that kind of disrespect is just... Ugh! You're making me genuinely angry, and that is not what you want. But, I'll forgive you. I realize that you don't know what's best for you, which leads to... Excuse me? I can't believe you just said that. I don't think you understand just how many ways I could hurt you, make you suffer. I could put you through things that would kill you otherwise and keep you alive and conscious through it all. I could... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, you poor, sweet thing. Please don't cry. I'm... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean any of that. I would never, ever hurt you. I promise. I really do want what's best for you. It's just... It's hard to have somebody want to hurt you when you're trying to help them. And the way you're behaving really worries me. 
I might have to. I didn't want to tell you this so soon. Honestly, I'd rather not tell you about it at all, but I think it's important that you know. You see, we Lux have been watching humans for a long time, and, well, we haven't been very impressed, to be frank. I mean, I personally think you've improved as a species quite a lot, but sometimes it seems like your instincts just drive you to hurt one another. Some among us think that, that maybe it's not in your best interest to be in control of yourselves anymore. Yes, that's right. They're saying that we should take away your free will. It's not the same as taking someone in and telling them what their best choices are, which is what I want to do for you. If you lost your free will, well, I'm not sure you'd really be a person anymore. Just a machine, really. Safe, but not truly conscious. And it's getting hard to argue that that isn't the best choice. We've had to make that call before, and with a species less self-destructive than yours. But some of us, including me, feel that you haven't been given a fair chance. I think that in a world where you can be safe, healthy, and happy without needing to struggle for it, you could be wonderful, kind beings. I see it sometimes when I observe your lives, and that's why I picked you first. You're a case study. All of the humans I've seen. Of all the humans I've seen, I think you can show the Lux that you can all make good, smart choices. And for a moment, I was afraid that you were proving me wrong. It's really inappropriate for Lux to do this, but I'm begging you. Please, just give this life a chance. Just be good for me and I can make life wonderful for you. I want to make you the happiest you've ever been. Give me a chance to and I will. I'm offering you paradise. Imagine it. You can play games and relax all day. Eat incredible foods that don't exist anywhere else in the multiverse. When we bring other humans here, you, you can be among your own kind as well. Oh, and here's the best part. You'd be immortal. I mentioned it earlier in sort of a scary way. You won't ever die or grow old. All you'd have to do in return is obey me. I know that sounds intimidating, but I won't ask much of you. I might ask you to play with me or go places with me or just stay with me for a little while. I'll have you do some little chores as well. Even though we Lux have great power, it's still nice to have mortals take care of some of the little things for us, especially after all we do to take care of you. But don't worry, it's not like you'd be working all the time. We have so many mortals under our care that we could split up the work quite a bit. If anything, you'll probably feel fulfilled, like you've earned your place here. Well, what do you say? <sighs>